Could genetically modified mosquitoes stop the spread of malaria, one of the world's deadliest diseases? That's what this team of scientists at Imperial College in London is currently investigating. The programme is set to um, genetically engineer mosquitoes uh, to make them uh, unable to transmit malaria. To develop malaria-resistant mosquitoes, the Transmission Zero team used a genetic engineering technique called gene drive technology. Professor George Christofidis leads the research at Imperial College. What we have done here is to make the mosquitoes not being infected with malaria. So they cannot be infected with malaria, they cannot transmit malaria. He says the project works in two stages. The first stage makes mosquitoes unable to transmit the malaria parasite and the second ensures that future generations inherit that resistance. So you engineer uh, mosquitoes in the lab, you make them genetically modified in the lab, uh, you have a population of mosquitoes, you release them in the field, they will be able to mate with the wild population, with the wild mosquitoes, and uh, when they mate, all their progeny will become resistant as well. The advantage of this self-spreading solution is that it could remove the need for more expensive interventions. And it could also reach parasite-carrying mosquitoes in areas humans can't easily access. The fight against the disease has stalled in recent years. Traditional methods are becoming ineffective because researchers say mosquitoes and malaria parasites are increasingly resistant to current treatments and control strategies. We need a new technology, we need a new ideas, we need uh, 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 something that will not need us to be there all the time and do the job, uh, something that will propagate itself, a uh, sustainable technology. Malaria kills around 600,000 people every year. Of these, 90% are children under five, and 90% live in Africa. Malaria is the single biggest killer of human beings uh, 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 in, in the history of humanity. Working with partners in Tanzania and Switzerland, the team hopes to conduct field trials within the next few years.